everyone, Lord of Flames here, and it's been months, I believe, since I made any videos about Dark Films production movies, and yeah, sorry about that. Why am I so excited for Final Fantasy Freight's free movie? Not because I'm going to be in it, but it gives something interesting as a final chapter to end the whole entire series, or saga right there. Knowing that Mike died in the Curse of Springtrap movie, knowing back in when he was scooped back in Sister Location where his body is slowly decaying or he's slowly dying. And it's kinda of sad right there knowing he won't see his <laughs> his daughter Amanda. Of course, she will continue her father's legacy in some way. Knowing she'll be the one to face the man, the killer, or rather the monster who started this whole horse, this nightmare. And I'm so excited knowing, I don't know if there's any like, um, any movies out there that just is inspired to it. Like, that has a daughter or a son from this person who used to face this enemy, but the father died and their kid had to face the man who's responsible for all this. Is there any movies out there inspired to it? Please let me know. But anyways, um, knowing this movie is going to be something huge, because there are a little bit of updates to each trailers or every announcement where I see the scenes has changed each time. The first trailer or teaser came out uh, a year ago, I believe. The map of Fast Spirit's Fright looks different. Like, it looks like it's fully completed, like all the textures and everything were in, until more trailers come in and... It looks different now. All the textures, like all of it weren't, weren't there. Because knowing they made an idea to have this as a huge amusement park. Without it just having like a small attraction. So I guess that's why they had to update it. To um, have it big and huge. And in Fast Bear's Fright attraction inside the, the, the place. It looks a bit different knowing it doesn't have the textures on them. Which is odd, you know. Like, I don't know if they they actually film some scenes that are had textures of Final Fantasy 3 or not. Um, like, I'm a little bit worried right there, maybe. But still, I'm so excited for it. And what else I'm excited, which, knowing I already talked about Amusement Park, but to think of the Amusement Park, this movie almost reminds me these videos by Ant Venom and his friend who did these series stuff. Like, um, I, forget, um, I forgot the name, but it was amazing to watch it back then. It was one of their other videos that had them explore the entire amusement park of Finance of Freddy stuff. So, almost believe this movie is inspired to that. I mean, it's gotta be, you know? If you had to look back to it, and you'd be like, Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't know. And knowing that the director, Neil, is going to um, make this movie better as possible because, um, because for what we got, like the other movies, like the Joy of Creation 2 has a bit problem, which they're going to redo it because some of the scenes in the trailer didn't make it in. Which I'm worried about what just happened after the release, and I'm glad they're going to fix it. I, I'm sort of don't like the sequel, The Joy of Creation. I know, I know, don't gasp or don't do this like on me or anything. I'm just saying, like the way how it was due or the story when I, it just, it kind of let down. Like the characters didn't do that much, or these. And I'm trying that survived the explosion just came out of nowhere. Like, there's gotta be a few scenes of them, um, having them take place after the explosion and the camera would just come in or zoom around the place and then the animatronic just like pop, just comes out the destruction and just leaves and try to find the person who's responsible for almost killing them. I mean, there's gotta be some scenes like that. And a little bit more to um to the prison scenes, you know, like there was that one point where William just raising his arms and just yelling or something. 
Dude, we need to know what just happened right there. But I hope they're going to do those scenes from the trailer that didn't happen. But anyways, Final Fantasy Free movie is going to be epic. Like, I don't know how long is this movie is going to be. Which I think is going to be two hours long, perhaps, if the characters are going to split up or explore the entire amusement park. If the phantoms just show up around the entire place. Or Springtrap just somehow just leaves the attraction and just chase them off around the amusement park. Like, I don't know that's not going to work. Like, is it for that type of chase scene? I don't know. But if the phantoms could do some work for them just haunting or... Do something around the attractions or something. We need a little bit more moments for Amanda and her mom. Talking about some moments about their about her father, Steph, you know? Like if she could like question her mom about what's he like or what's about him or something. For a kid, knowing she she was born after her father's death, for a character like that needs to know what happened. Like what's her father like? What happened to him? Like, that's the other thing. Now, when I look in the script, like, they add more characters to it, um, and I don't want to spoil it or anything. Like, when I saw it, I was like, okay, okay, this could work, which this movie could be two hours long, I guess. Every character you add, it's like, if you add, like, 25 or 30 characters in it, it'll be three hours long, but 20, um, two hours long, 10, one hour long. I can't wait for this movie to come out, which is coming this year on July 10. I'm so excited. That's all I got for this video, folks. I, I'm really bad at talking things about this stuff if I'm excited or how much I do have to explain about it. That's all I got for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is Lord of Flames here. I will see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.